Hello, I'm VX Toycat, and welcome back to the video. Today I have a battle mode Q&A if you will. The reason I have this is because I have uploaded two videos on this new battle mini game earlier today, talking about a bunch of different details, but yet so many of you still have questions that I figured it makes sense just to directly answer a lot of the really popular ones, and that's what I have for you all today. I direct answer to a lot of your questions about battle mode. Hopefully you'll do enjoy it. If you do, like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like it. Also keep in mind this is some more fresh uh, battle mode gameplay you're seeing in the background. Hopefully you enjoy that too, but with that said, let's get straight into the first question which comes in from sin rain 12 sin rain 12 asks do you think battle mode could also be added on the pe or the pc and although this is something i think would be kind of cool to see as someone who likes the battle mode and really likes it as a game mode i think the idea of battle mode is that it is the hunger games you know like you can get on pocket edition and on the pc uh, you know like uh, you know with servers but it's like that but for the console and the reasoning behind it is you can't get servers on the console so yeah i don't really think they'll have any direct plans to do it at any time soon unless it is massively successful and they think oh well there are some people who just don't want to do the server thing thing so yeah that's the idea here it's meant to be kind of like a replacement for servers but then better in a lot of ways and that is why it probably won't come to the pc or the pocket edition although i wouldn't say never i just say unlikely so yeah with that said let's move on to the next question which comes in from tj Minotti, who asked uh, who they say you said there was a take all from chest option right well yeah the thing is is there is a uh, you know a brand new option for chess in this game mode only i, I thought it was going to be for all minecraft no it is just this game mode if you press the left bumper when you're in a chest or your you know control equivalent you'll be able to take everything in the chest at once and if there's any armor in the chest, it will automatically equip it, which is pretty cool. In fact, you can also see, uh, if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see my arm right there. And, uh, you know, if I do happen to go to a chest, you'll see that I will just automatically equip anything I've take, uh, taken. And that's how I have armor on, despite not actually doing it myself. So, yeah, there's auto-equip there's auto armor, and there's also a take all from chest. And it kind of just functions the same way, which I think is pretty cool. So, let's move on to the next question as we get into this arrow fight over here, um, which comes in from Koopa Yoshi 7 who asks, what happens when you die? And this is a good question, because you there's two things you might have seen. First, of all, you might think, wait, when you die, do you just sit there and wait for the next game? And you also might see these bats that fly around. There's one in front of my face, and there's still one on screen right now, and uh, someone just died, so they're going to turn into a bat. Uh, yeah, these bats are what happens when you die. You turn into a bat, and you can spectate the game like that. Uh, you're not actually entirely out of the game when you die, because you can squeak and play around like that. Obviously, you're dead, but, you know, you still have some tiny effect on the game, which I think is pretty cool. Also, because the spectator mode isn't just bat mode, uh, there's also the option to, uh, you know, as well as just being a bat, you can also uh, decide to, uh, you know, like, freely roam or... Uh, follow people so someone right now might be following me as their bat and there's a few uh, you know options like that that are pretty cool if you ask me as I swoop in for another kill here so yeah then let's move on to the next question which comes in from Meg Monahan who asks will you be able to play against Xbox if you're on PlayStation so even though they have said that they want to have cross platform at some point because you know Minecraft just is all the same thing now uh, they do have to kind of go through all the hoops that requires crossing and when uh, battle mode first comes out it will just be for the platform you're on it will use uh, the systems in place for that and at some point cross platform will be available just not at launch so with that said let's be to the next question, which comes in from Jade Wilson slash Claws Longtail, who asks, can you play without Xbox Live Gold uh, or PlayStation Plus or Wii U doesn't have one, but yeah, can you play without PSN Plus or Xbox Live Gold? No, you cannot. If you're on the PS3, you can, because it's not required, but you need to be able to play online like you would in any other game to be able to play battle mode against strangers. If you want to play it locally, uh, split screen or over LAN, you don't need Xbox Live Gold, but if you want to play it against friends over the internet, like I imagine you're talking about, you do need Xbox Live Gold or PSN Plus. With that, uh, the next question here comes in from Josh Green, who asks, can you craft or enchant on battle mode, or are you, do you just get what you're given in chess? So yeah, this is kind of like a variant of adventure mode if you will uh, you can't break or place blocks uh, there were no enchantment tables on any of the maps I played and there was only one I didn't uh, uh, which was the labyrinth one so I highly doubt there are any enchantment tables I highly doubt there are any crafting uh, tables and instead it, I think what it is mostly down to is just find stuff in chess make, uh, you know, play and win the game that way obviously when you kill someone you can also take their stuff and there's a few other elements to it but it is mostly down to uh, you know what you find in the chess and also I believe you can take uh, certain things from the lobby with you I, I don't uh, again they told me that was how it worked but I'd never got to uh, anything but that might be something that plays into it later so yeah it's just what you get from chess you can't craft or enchant which is a good thing uh, if you've ever done it on the pocket edition i mean getting the sticks and stuff is oh, I, I, just, I just hate it so yeah that it's only stuff you get from chess and we'll move on to the next question which comes in from tr gamer who asks did they tell you about any additional modes being added in the future uh so yeah while i was at the event i actually did uh you know like i, I directly asked i was like so um you know what about any other mini game game modes and although they didn't say any that they, they refused to announce any directly and i imagine they had ideas but nothing else 
I think uh, what their plan was, and based on what they said, is that they want to have some added every six months to a year or so, because they did hint that every update might add a new mini game or something like that. Uh, whether there is their plan or whether it isn't is still yet to be seen. But it would be cool if every update from now on, because this update is Batman Focus, would include uh, you know a new mini game. I think that'd be cool anyway. But we'll, we'll have to see how it actually does develop. So they didn't tell me any specific game modes, but I have a few in my head. Um, and whether those will show off or not is something yet to be seen. So let's go back to the lobby. Look, we 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 we're the swordsman. We we won all the game that way. But yeah, let's move on to the next uh, little thing here, which comes in from Diego Patino. Question is the word I was looking for. Who asks hashtag Q and A? So cat, do you think 4J will include the fishing rod knockback for PVP combos? Uh, so the answer to that question is uh, yes, I do think they will. In fact, I've seen I've seen it might be in this game in this gameplay somewhere uh, of someone used the fishing rod and it actually worked against someone else. It does have knockback in this, which means they have taken into account a lot of PVP factors, which is something I think is pretty cool. So yeah, um, uh, fishing rods, snowballs, etc. They all work in this thing and that's something you want to keep in mind so with that said let's move on to the next question which comes in from assassino who asks hashtag q a are there going to be any new features in the tu or if, if only battle mode now i saw you take as out items out the chest really quickly on your gameplay so just curious so yeah the new uh, the new feature there was take all from chess this is just a battle mode thing i did ask would it be available in survival they said no it's just for battle mode uh, battle mini game i should say and uh, yeah the idea here is that they can add new features for the mini game but i think this update is mostly focused around that because i i sneakily check the what's new section and it didn't have anything new in there which makes me think that's their only major plan there's a few other things coming like they've changed the skin menu they've changed a whole bunch of other stuff uh, but for the most part it is battle mini game centric to say the least so pvp changes are pretty much the most part what we can expect so with that said let's move on to the next question which comes in from nick the human who asks hashtag q a if you create a battle world will the host have host advantage or will there not be any in, in the matchmaking one so uh, what he's basically asking is is there host advantage or not um well basically yeah the way it is going to work is it isn't dedicated servers like a lot of people have assumed and like i assumed before it came out it is going to be just run off uh, the kind of matchmaking thing and you might think oh that's terrible there's a big host advantage but based on my experience with pvp when there's a bad connection there everyone kind of gets a similar amount of lag i mean there's a tiny host advantage uh, but i'm hoping that will be balanced out or maybe improved you know the connection's got to be something they bid, uh, did focus on for this because without good connection this mini game can't really fu uh, function so i have to imagine they thought about that if they didn't then I i'm very uh, <laughs> very very uh, disappointed uh, you know I'm, I'm very worried i should say but let's hope that they actually did uh, rather than just assuming they didn't so with that said we'll move on to the next question here which come oops i pressed the uh, right on the wrong thing uh let's move on to the next question here which comes in from kadoba123 who asks uh, who says now they just need to add the 1.9 combat and yeah this is something i realized after the, i realized this would be coming out i knew that when they do add 1.9 which they hinted would be you know at some point and uh, later this year uh when they do add the next update it's going to be one of the biggest controversial things because you'll have to use it for the pvp and you know what? i i'm looking forward to it the people who complain about 1.9 combat are mostly pretty ridiculous people and uh, you know what? have a controversy because on the console nothing you can do about it there's a part of me that's like going to enjoy that and a part of me that's going to be like oh i have to deal with people complaining about r most ridiculous things and you know what? that's fine but i'm looking forward to it anyway so yeah with that said let's move on to the next question which comes in from slim bread 100 so how do you switch armor do you does a, a piece auto switch if it's better than the current piece you are wearing so yeah uh, you, I, like i mentioned when you go into a chest you can automatically equip armor that's how i've equipped it for most of these games that you're going to see here and uh, that's just how you put armor on. However, uh, you know, the big question of, like, how does it work out what arm to put on? I think if you have a piece for armor on, it won't replace it with something else by quick, uh, by doing that. Uh, and at the very least, it doesn't take into account a charm enchantment. So, yeah, if you have uh, leather boots on, even if you find diamond boots, it probably won't replace them. And if you find leather boots with an enchantment on, it definitely won't replace them. Which is something that is a little bit interesting, to say the least. So, just make sure you keep an eye out on the chests you are opening. Don't just automatically go in, LB, and then run away. Because sometimes there's armor that you need to take. Like, I find a diamond chest plate every now and then. And that diamond chest plate in this game mode when everyone has wooden swords and stuff is so so valuable and it's something you want to keep your eye on when you do you know play this game mode when it does come out like i said uh, the uh, the um the diamond chest plate has saved my life more than once and maybe it'll save your life too slim bread 100 so with that said let's move on to the final question which isn't really a question it's just a couple of things combined because one is saying it's like kind of the big contrast here one says so excited watching the beta play is amazing thank you very much Hina Viber. I'm, I'm glad you like it. I, I was so excited to share this with people and then you know like i was like ah yeah it's finally here like i've been waiting for so long and then second of all i'm skeptical because all i wanted was normal hunt games but i like it a lot with less lag so first of all um you know if there is uh, with less lag it's something i imagine is gonna be coming but the thing about uh, this versus the hunger games is in reality this is the Hunger Games in a lot of different ways. Like, even though I say it's better than the Hunger Games, and I'm going to be making a video on why it's so much better than the Hunger Games, if you're expecting the Hunger Games, you can play this and basically get that experience. However, what I think you should think about this is it's the Hunger Games, but better. They 
well, one, they put the hunger in here for the first part, which is actual hunger stuff going on there. I think I'm going to die here. But <laughs> yeah, they actually made it, a, you know, with the hunger, a really important thing. So camping isn't a big deal. Also, with the spectate mode, you can squeak at people if they camp. Second of all, they've made, it, really, there's just a whole bunch of different changes that I'll be making a video on to let you know about why you should be hyped about battle mode, even if you're not really too crazy into hunger games. Because I don't like hunger games too much. I feel like it's too, you know, based on whether you paid money or whether it's this or that. And I think battle mode is much, much better. And yeah, hopefully this gameplay, or one of these two gameplays, have to convince you. I think this is the first one I've uploaded where I didn't win, and uh, you, get, you got some me being a bat for a little bit, and isn't that fun? So, yeah, I actually, uh, I got best fed, because I ate the most food in that game. Uh, it's been really fun seeing those achievements at the end of the game, and yeah, besides that, I hope you did all enjoy today's uh, battle mode gameplay. I'm going to be doing more of these on my channel over the next few days, and if you keep enjoying them, then let me know, and I'll keep uploading them. So yeah, with that said, hope you did all enjoy it, because I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.